Straight after the Braintree game, we played Oldham and we got battered, and that made me change the tactic. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the channel for episode 10 of Hall of Famer here on Football Manager 2024 with Yeovil Town. So yes, like I just said in the intro there, Oldham, we got battered. We played absolutely rubbish. That made me swap the tactic and since then, we've won 6 out of 6. And uh, as always, Top Fadahunzi has been banging in the goals, scoring in 1, 2, 3, 4... All the games so far in October, so very, very happy with that indeed. If we head over to the squad, you can see things kind of predictable, really. We just swapped to my second tactic with a few modifications. Box-to-box uh, -box and ball-winning midfielder, defensive midfielder, of course, as a defensive midfielder. Um, everything else is pretty much samey-samey, really. Um, now, the main reason for the tactical swap was obviously because we were um, a little bit hit and miss with the results and stuff, but it's because Sawyers came down with an injury, and I was like, well, I don't really have anyone else I can really rely on to play central attacking midfield on a consistent basis. So with that, and the defeat against Oldham, maybe we do need to sit back a little bit more. So, yeah, defensive midfielder, 4-3-3. So... I'm guessing we'll probably stick to this for a bit until we either move on or we just have another bad run of form again. I don't know. But yeah, Tope Van Hansi has been incredible for us, has to be said. And with that, we are currently top of the table, three points clear of Halifax in second. But it is very, very tight indeed, especially the top... I mean, the top four are separated by four points. Hartlepool only a point off them, and then Woking only a point off them, and Oldham only a point off them. So, yeah, very interesting. So, all the way from third down to ninth, there's literally a point that separates each team, which is absolutely mad. So, yeah, today we're going to be playing Newport and Kidderminster, both in the National League. Uh, we got through in the uh, FA Cup fourth qualifying round, as you can see, and we'll face Worthing in the first round which i'm assuming we will win that of course and uh yeah we'll just go on from there so uh let's get ready for this game and uh, hopefully keep up this lovely winning streak we've got going so we have dane goal norton lazaya him and drew at the back staunton gardner and john in midfield did i show you that i signed uh, gary gardner i may have forgot to show you that he was released from birmingham so we picked him up we're paying him a fair chunk of money. We're still under the wage budget because I swapped my transfer budget to wage budget. Because, yeah, I can do that, thankfully. Uh, Jacobs and Scott on the wings and Fada Hunzi up front. Let's do this. Let's do this. You can say the only um, backup striker I've got at the minute is Winnell. So, um, should one come up that we can sign on a free or maybe a loan because there's no transfer window then i would set, uh, definitely be open to it because yeah just having the two strikers when one of them's 33 and and not as good yeah i mean to be fair connor wickham should be coming back soon as well so that should bolster us a little bit but here we go jacobs with a corner and it's cleared scott with a shot oh good save i really want to do a pun with jacobs Really do want to do a pun with Jacobs. Jacobs has taken the corner. Can't really do a pun for that, can I? It's headed clear and hit clear there by Newport. Newport, of course, uh, would have been relegated from League 2 last year. So, um, bit of a samey, samey start for them, really, as expected. Now, can we win this ball back? Apologies for the yawning, by the way. It's not that late as I'm recording this. Um, it is Saturday as I'm recording this. Same day as I recorded maybe the last video, I think. Just the last video. A little bit disappointed that Coventry drew 0 now at home to Stoke. But at least it stops the rot because we lost four games in a row. Now, Wait is in here. And it's a good save by Day. He just about keeps it out. Let's have a little bit of encouragement. Away to Newport here. This could be a tough game. So a draw probably wouldn't be a terrible result. Because like I said, uh, Newport were relegated. But Gardner's in. It's deflected. But Drew is on the ball again. Drew whips it in. Fadahunzi cannot win that header. But it is back with Norton now. Norton's gone down. And we have a penalty. I forget who takes these. Gardner is stepping up. He scored a penalty quite recently. And can he score here against Newport? To put us 1-0 up. 
He can't. Damn, okay. It's a little bit annoying. Alright, Scott with the cross and it's cleared. But we've certainly been the better team in these opening 25 minutes. We should have really taken the lead from that penalty. Really should have taken the lead. I don't want to have that as a chance missed. Because, you know, Newport probably do have a good squad. And a squad probably good enough to take something from us. I mean, we've still been the better team, definitely. But, I mean, thankfully, Rochdale can't overtake us. They're already winning. Half-time at 0-0. Again, I'd be, I'd be fine with a draw. But, um... I'm going to signal them out. I'm not going to sing. I know he missed the penalty, but I'm not going to single him out, even though he's the only one I had an individual word with. Right, Jacobs. Can he deliver a cross here? It's now Norton with a shot, and it's in. That I think that's going down as an own goal by Ben Jackson. Because I think Norton's Norton's shot was probably going wide. That's why he's not been credited with the goal. Credited with the goal. I don't care how we score. For, main thing is we are one nil up and deservedly so. Have to have to say really. But uh, Newport, thankfully, we have now taken the lead. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can hold on to it. I mean. Newport, I mean, we have been the better team. So, at this point, if we don't win, I'd be a little bit annoyed. But I'd really like to keep a clean sheet now as well. We have kept a couple, couple of clean sheets recently. And we're not going to keep one today. Great. Because that is, as far as I know, that's their, one of their only efforts on goal. It is literally their first shot on target. Or maybe their second, because that's not updated yet. Yep, yeah, their second shot on target and they've scored. I mean, to be fair, we've only had two shots on target as well. We've not been prolific today, but I'd still say at this point we've been better than Newport. A point is a little annoying, but it's fine because it's a team where they could cause us more issues than whatnot. Uh, yeah, you know what, let's bring you on there. And then we'll bring you on there as well and that will do for now I think I would really like to get out of the conference this year because I just hate the five substitutes and I need to be able to use three of them it is really annoying I need more substitutes than this I'm not used to this it's annoying can we get a last minute winner for us I don't want it to be for Newport I want it to be for us please possible Jacobs with a corner. Drew cannot win that. But it's Rowe to Sawyers. Oh. Yeah, it's a 1-1 one, one draw. Sadly, no cracker from Jacobs today. Hopefully in the next game, that would be good. Now, there is a bit of news I have to show you as well. Um, now, these are unlikely to come out. But I still think it's worth showing you. Because... You never know. There is a possibility. We have applied for the Charlton job and the Huddersfield job, both in League One, both languishing towards the bottom of the table. So, you never know. They may give me a chance. Who the hell knows? Because I think this time on Hall of Famer last year, we got to the end of our second season with Scunthorpe after two straight promotions. But the thing is, with Scunthorpe, we started with a National League team. But this year we started with a National League South team. So it may take me another year before I'm offered like a like a, a, a much higher job. Or, you know, I mean, are you ever going to fund all of my coaching courses? Who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? Cas Cas Casanova. Oh, this was that right back from Spurs, wasn't it? <clears throat> Excuse me. He's wanted by Fild on loan. Um, could I maybe loan him? Can I have him until the end of the season, please? Oh, possibly. That's a new right-back potentially coming in. I mean, we've got Drew. I've got Norton. Norton's being used on the left at the minute. Because Brandon Mason just keeps getting injured. Literally, 
He has had so many injuries. All of these. Uh, hang on. These two, three. He's had three injuries which have kept him out for ten weeks. Ten weeks. Which is absolutely mad. So, I've not had a proper left back all year. So, um... There we go, we've uh, put in a bid for Casanova, and hopefully he will be able to come in. So that, even with that, that still leaves me slightly under the wage budget. So I will certainly take that. Another um, strength and depth at the back will be really, really good if we can get it. I mean, I may as well just keep this recording going for the Kidderminster game, because uh, why the hell not? It, they're literally only a few minutes apart, aren't they? So, yeah, I mean, hopefully I'll be able to bring you a... Any sort of update in the uh, one there, Connor Wickham? Are you going to make an appearance today, dude? Possibly, possibly. Cannot rule it out. Um, I don't see any reason to change any of the team because it didn't do too bad. No one seems too fatigued. Although, let's say it does maybe a little bit, as does Jacobs. So, if we got another centre back, maybe Kikuri. That's a good idea. We'll go with that instead. So, only the one change, I think. I mean, we'll keep Day in goal for now. Because, you know, he only conceded the one last game. So, let's see how we get on. Uh, I'm not going to introduce the team again. Because, uh, I mean, we've got um, wingers on the bench. So, if um, if Jacobs can't uh, do the game, then it's absolutely fine. We can bring on... Uh, we can bring on um, Klukas. Because Klukas can cover a few positions. So, uh, he's absolutely fine. But yeah, a little bit disappointed with that draw against Newport. It does still keep us at the top of the table. But of course, we do have Rochdale, Halifax, Altrincham all around us ready to overtake Gardner with the with the in. And look at that. Oh, and look at that. Maldini Kukuri has scored a goal six minutes into the game. And he was a last minute change that I made. So yeah, all cool credit to the manager for that one, guys. Get in. Absolutely. Lovely stuff. And that, I mean, if we win this, it'll obviously keep us top of the table. Rochdale are already winning by the looks of it. They are through Kelly. Alright, day two, Staunton. Was the Gardner. Terrible by Gardner. AC. Oh my good god, that was close. Too close for comfort. I've had similar issues with the Everton save. But it's not... it. it the mistakes made have been nowhere near as bad as this. Oh, Gateshead have overturned it against Rochdale. So, uh, oh, nice. Okay, right. Rashawn Scott gives it to Niall John. Niall John gives it across to Norton. To Jakers. Back to Norton. Oh, it's deflected wide. Close to being 2 0 there. We've won a corner. Can Jacobs deliver this time? And he does! Kakuri scores again! Yes! What a cracking corner by Jacobs. Come on! And he was. I mean, he, he obviously took the corner for the other goal, but obviously it was a short corner which Gary Gardner then crossed. You know what? I'm fine for Klukas to come on. No issue at all with that. Half time. Oh, that didn't even go through, did it? We are dominating so far. And that change was not made. We can do it now, can't we? Right, Klukas on for Jacobs. And I think that'll do for now. I think that'll do for now. Got Now, Klukas will take over the corner responsibilities. Gardner goes down, but Klukas is still on the ball. We've got a little bit of lag. Oh, and Staunton goes close there as well. Gardner takes the corner, and it's cleared. And that's where the highlight ends as well. Just under half an hour to go. We're comfortably 2-0 up. Um, Harry has not really been in the game that much. Um, at the moment, we are taking a four-point lead over um, over Rochdale. That would be good. And you know what? This feels like a good time to bring back Connor Wickham. And then 
will make another change as well. Row on for Drew. He says how he is, haven't been in it much, and then they're probably going to score, aren't they? It's a good save by Day, actually. Well done. Just under 15 minutes to go. Connor Wickham is finally making his first appearance for the club. After signing in the summer, one of our first sign-ins, we confirmed him before getting Fada Hunzi back. And then, because of his injuries, what made me go for Fada Hunzi in the first place. So, yeah. Are we going to keep, keep a clean sheet as well, guys? A Kukuri double is what's done it for us here today. And we have. We have kept a clean sheet. I told you, this tactic was that definitely doing better. Which I am very, very pleased with. Very, very pleased. So, Connor Wickham has finally made his first appearance for the club. Very happy with that. Kukuri, even better performance from him because he scored two headers and uh, gave us a 2-0 win. So, what I'm going to be doing off camera now, I highly doubt I'm going to hear anything regarding the Charlton or Huddersfield job. And even if I do, it's probably just going to be rejection anyway. Anything does happen. Of course, I will bring you back earlier than expected. But failing that, we will probably just play through the month of November. And then, oh, that sounds good. We'll come back for Rochdale and Barnet. Or York and Rochdale. Either way, it will involve Rochdale because good team in this division. But guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please show your support by dropping a like. Please also hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Closing in on 900 subscribers now, so would really like to get there. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.